In this Elementor tutorial, you're going to learn how to hide sections on mobile. This tutorial is part of the Elementor Skills playlist where you gain a solid foundation in Elementor so you can build better and bigger websites. That playlist is linked to in the description down below, so make sure you check it out after you watch this video. And if you have any questions or comments about this specific video, please leave them down below. I try to answer the best I can. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And let's get started. The first thing we have to do is open a page we can edit with Elementor. So let's go to pages and let's go to the home page and click on edit with Elementor. And here we're going to find a section that we want to hide. It doesn't even have to be a section. It could be a piece of text. It could be a button. Whatever wouldn't fit on mobile, we can find it, click on it. Let's just use this piece of text right here and go to advanced and then go to responsive and then we can choose to hide it in various locations. We can hide on mobile by clicking this, hide on tablet by clicking this, hide on desktop by clicking this. If you turn all of them on, then nobody will ever see it. So you might not want to do that. We can also have alternating pieces of content. So if you wanted to have this paragraph specific to people on phones, let's say here we have this text and this is specific to mobile phone users and say you want to show this only to mobile phone users. We can go over here and we hide on tablet and hide on desktop. Then we can go ahead and duplicate this. And let's change the text on here to be tablet users. Click on this section, go to advanced, go to responsive, and we're going to hide this on desktop. We're going to show it on tablet and hide it on mobile. Let's duplicate this again. Make sure we've clicked on it to select the right one. Let's change this to desktop users. Go to advanced, go to responsive. Now we want to show it on desktop and hide it on tablet and mobile. Then click on update and let's take a look at this page. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Scroll down to where that section is. And here we have the sentence, this is specific to desktop users. Now, if we change our user agent by going to right clicking and then going to inspect, clicking on this to show the mobile view, here it says, this is specific to mobile phone users. Now, if I switch this to a laptop, sorry, not a laptop, a tablet, like the iPad Pro, this is specific to tablet users. And so it's switching out the content based on which device is viewing the page. We close that, go back to desktop. Here it says desktop users. And that's how we can hide things on mobile or show things on mobile or tablet or desktop. And it doesn't apply to just text either. Like I was saying earlier, you can have whole sections. This whole section right here, click on the three dots, go to advanced, go to responsive, and you have your conditional visibility options here. Maybe this first service right here should only be viewable by people on tablets. Click on the column, go to advanced, go to responsive, and you have your visibility options here. Pretty much anything, this button. Click on the button to edit it, go to advanced, go to responsive, we have our visibility options here. And on and on, pretty much anything you can click on an Elementor, you have responsive options for, so you can show and hide them as you see fit. One of the ways I've used this in the past is on hero images. This hero image right here looks great in a desktop, but it might not look so great on a tablet and especially not on a mobile phone. So you can click on the whole section to edit it. Go to advanced. Let's hide this one on mobile and let's duplicate this thing. Just for good measure to show you really quick, let's change the background image to this rubber ducky. There we go. And let's go to advanced and responsive and hide this one on tablet and desktop, but it shows on mobile. Now let's update and it refreshes automatically. So we have our nice mountains in the background for our desktop. Now, if I switch to a mobile device, this is a tablet. So we have the same background for a tablet, but if we switch to a phone, 
like the Pixel 2, we now have the rubber ducky in the background. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you want to check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. So check out that playlist if you want to level up your Elementor skills. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy through that link, I do get a commission and it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me. And that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. And next up, check out the Elementor skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your Elementor skills will be increased. So if you wanna get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, Click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.